The following is a paid program and does not necessarily reflect the views or ideas of the staff or management of KWSH or the 110 Broadcast Group. Stone go Seminologi Jeremy Fultz, Cheho Jifkodosen, Mojanita Hadam Nitta, He Dojan Popo Hoyan. My name's Jeremy Fultz. I am going to be your co host on this nice, kind of chilly, kind of humid Tuesday, kind of polony Tuesday morning. Joining me in the studio today, Anhisidos, my co-host, Mr. Delaney Pinnock. What are you doing over there, Delaney? <laughs> Do you need to fix the mic? You ready? All right, yeah. All right, we're good. <laughs> I don't know what he did, Dennis, but the mic is not in the position it was <laughs> a minute and a half ago. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we are glad that you're joining us today for the radio show. We have a lot to get over. Delaney, there's a lot of people in the studio again today. I've never seen all that. I know. (laughs) Good thing they're in the other room. So, All right. And so today we've got a lot to go over with some big things coming up, uh, like Thursday, the Christmas dinner. But we'll, we'll get into all that here in a little bit. But Delaney, you're, you are in the hot seat again today. What did you do this weekend, my friend? A whole lot. Still? Still. I just got in some firewood, get ready for the cold. That's about it. True Stajati life right there. Got firewood and getting ready for the winter. Yep. So, let's see. What did I do this week? You know. Let me ask you. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, ask me. Okay. In- All right. That's All right. it. Chinda. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, I got a new grill this weekend and oh. cooked all my lunches for this week. Yet I forgot them at home, so I still got to go out and eat today. So I tried. tried. It's the effort, right? I see the effort. A A for effort. So, all right, good deal. And so last night was pretty busy, and we woke up to have their Christmas parade and also Osofki with Osanta. Mark, you went to that. How was it? It was fun. Uh, Pretty busy. Yeah. I seen some pictures. Very very festive. I seen some pictures. My cousin was set up. At one of the booths there was Osofki for Osana, and I saw jars of Osofki for five dollars a piece. Oh man! So they was all bottled up, looking like they were getting on their way to being sour Osofki for Osana. Did you have any, so, Mark? Did you, br- did you buy any? Oh, no. he didn't have any. Nope. He said Doknawa Ojago. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. So uh, with that, since we do have some guests in the studio today, we're going to go ahead and get right into the church announcements and the fourth and eighth Sunday church meetings. Uh, This weekend is going to be December the 11th. And so for the 11th, the church is having their church service or their church meetings, which is like their fourth or eighth Sundays is Artisy, Beaver, BMO, Bird Creek, Community IBC, Buckeye Creek, Deep Fork Columbia, Hickory Ground Number Two, Little Casita, Mikasuki, Miller Creek Number Two, Matazoma, Ofusky, Pecan Grove, Rock Spring, Sasakwa, Sand Creek, Ufala, Tomajesse, and Wetumpka IBC or Indian Baptist Church. And again, if you decide to go visit one of them churches, you might just call someone to make sure they are having their church meeting. Uh, some churches uh, go visit other churches during their church meetings, so you might just uh, give them a call, make sure they're having it before you go visit. And then, every week we talk about the ones that have started their journey. You know, there's a lot of families, they're missing loved ones today. Uh, remember those families and members of the community in your prayers. Um, 
I seen even one of our elders from Glenpool uh, took their journey. And so um, definitely uh, prayers go out to them and everyone around our community, the uh, Spencer family and um, around here, our thoughts are with you guys. And so at this time, we are going to go ahead and pause for a moment of silence. And so kind of the big news right off the bat, the Seminole Nation annual Christmas dinner is back. Uh, We've talked about this uh, for the last few weeks. So Thursday is the big day, December the 8th, 2022 at the Wewoka Civic Center from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Delaney, I seen your name on that work list. I didn't. (laughs) (laughs) And so we'll be there, uh, language will be there, communications and IT. We will be bringing your music, communications will be taking pictures. So we'll be we'll be out and about, so come by, say hi, we'll be around. Hopefully we might even sit down to, to eat with you guys. And so um, I, might, I'm, I might do that just to be... Do that first. You, yeah, huh? do that for, first. For everybody. Yeah, do that, for, you know, I want to congregate and eat. By the end of the night, I'll be real full, but that's all right. And then also, not only is it just the Christmas dinner that night from 4 to 7, Wawoka IHS is offering flu and COVID booster vaccinations at the holiday dinner. So if you haven't received your flu vaccine or your COVID booster, you can get those while you come and eat. And so that's going to also be Thursday, December the 8th. There at the Wawoka Civic Center from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. And I'm probably going to get my COVID booster that day. So um, it's been a minute since I've uh, got one of those. And so it's probably probably about due. I might too. Yep. And then also, so again, Thursday, that's going to be the annual Christmas or holiday dinner. Make sure you come out. Or annual Christmas dinner. Make sure you come out and eat with us. And then... The ARPA team, regarding the $700 distribution, if you have any questions, you can contact Seminole Nation ARPA team at 405-561-2261. And then also to apply, you can go to sno-nsn.gov. And so... Um, at this point, we usually go right into our announcements with the diabetes program and CHR, but we have a CHR representative in the building today. How are you doing? Or are you with OBI? I'm with OBI. Oh, you're with OBI. Brooklyn's out there. Brooklyn. She's the one with CHS. Brooklyn didn't come in. Bro- get in here, Brooklyn. Come on, hurry. Love you, just Lupke, Lupke. You got to call him in from the other room. <laughs> How are you doing, Mark? Good. How are you? Good. Mark, right? Yes, sir. All right, Mark, tell us a little bit about um, OBI and what you guys are doing. All right. Well, uh, Seminole Nation and OBI, we have been teaming up here recently. Um, What we've been doing in our past is called our Tribal Blood Drive Challenge. Okay? And I know a lot of people know about it, but I'm just going to give a little bit of history on it. So, a few years back... um, a lot of the tribes got together, um, mainly uh, the Choctaw Nation tribe. They started getting together with the other tribes, and we started trying to figure out how do we get the word out for the need of blood. So they came up, uh, Chief Batten and Michelle and Tubby, which is a couple guys that work for OBI, uh, they came up with a plan on how can we get more donations. So why don't we challenge all the tribes? and see who can bring in more donations and the ones that bring in the most and do that they're do it accurately and efficiently and just fun then we'll give out some awards and trophies for it so we started that a couple years ago and especially during covid because you know when covid hit our world shut down Mm -hmm. and blood donations did not stop (laughs) i mean the need for blood is always constant So we started doing those a couple years back. And then Brooklyn was down at one of the conferences, and they were together, and they said, hey, 
we need to be in on this. So they reached out, and that's what we're doing. We're getting the Seminole Nation involved in the Tribal Challenge. All right, and so tell us when and where we can donate. All right, so we're going to be having quite a few blood drives coming up. We're going to have two coming up in the month of December. Our first one's going to be out at the Seminole Nation Trading Post Casino in Weewoka. And that one's going to be December 7th. That's which is tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to get there and we're going to be taking donations from 1.15 to 5 o'clock p.m. And we encourage everybody that is able and eligible to donate to come donate. Not only if you donate, we'll also, of course, be getting the good incentives that OBI has to offer, which is always a good free snack and some drinks while you're there. But we're also going to be giving our way our holiday winter long sleeve shirts. Nice. So, and we've got two of them for you to choose from, and they always have something. This year, we're going to have one that's themed from the movie Elf, and it's going to say, don't be a cotton-headed ninny muggins, give blood. Oop. And then the other one's going to be a, have a deer, and it's going to say, be a deer and please donate blood, and they're really popular right now. Yep. Good one. And so that, again, that's tomorrow, if you're in Wewoka, with the Seminole Nation Trading Post it says, look for the blood mobile, and I'm assuming that's that big... Uh, the big bus. The big bus. So when you're over that way, make sure you... Again, that's going to be one fifteen to 5 p.m. And then the next one looks like we'll be at the North Community Room. What's the North Community Room? It's supposed to be building. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't know if there is a room in the building. <laughs> yeah. And so th this one, the next one's going to be December 30th from 1030 to 2 at the North Community Building, uh, lo they're hosted by the Seminole Nation CHR program. Again, that's going to be December 30th. And then there's more going into next year in January. And so, Seminole Nation, let's show out, show up, and let's uh, donate some blood. Who's eligible to donate blood? Okay. Anybody that feels healthy and able and is over the age of 16 can come out and donate blood. Um, all they got to do is just come out and try. There, you'll get what we always call a mini uh, evaluation, like a mini physical. Uh, we're going to ask you some health questions. It's going to it's going to take you typically about 45 minutes to donate. Okay, the longest time is us being able to you know just to have you answer some basic health questions, do that mini physical to make sure you're healthy that day. Uh, the actual donation process only takes about five to ten minutes. Awesome. And what are some uh, facts that you have for Seminole Nation? You know, we just updated the antennas here in this radio station. So you might think you're on tribal radio, but the reach goes way past the reservation. So there's, we used to say about a million, right? Then it's about a million people listen. Now there's probably about two to three million people listening. That's true. So oh, it's it's awesome. Yeah. So what would you say well, to those two to three million people listening right now to the Seminole Nation radio program? Well, what I have to say right now is we all know, I hope you all know about the Oklahoma Blood Institute, and you've seen us around the areas with the bus or at your local communities or schools doing blood drives. But I just need to stress the importance that – that blood need is always constant. There is always somebody out there that is in need of that donation, whether it be a family member or somebody you don't know. But I'm going to tell you that it takes over 1,200 units of blood daily just to meet our local hospital's needs. And that one in seven patients in the hospital will need blood. Every two seconds, someone needs blood yet less than 2% of those actually donate. The biggest thing that you can do is help spread the word of the need of blood and encourage your friends and family to come out and donate. It doesn't take long. You can get a free snack and a free shirt, and you can save somebody's life. Your one donation doesn't just help one person save a life, but we can be able to help three people save lives because we're able to take your one blood donation of that single unit of whole blood and we're able to get three components from that your red blood cells your plasma and your platelets and we're able to take each individual cell and unit and take that and give it to somebody in need good deal and again you can donate tomorrow at the Seminole Nation Trading Post Casino we woke uh, listen up 
Tomorrow from 115 to 5, look for the Blood Mobile. And then at the North Community Building there at the beautiful Miccosukee Mission Campus, December 30th from 10.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. Brooklyn, what do you got to add? Um, Seminole Nation Gaming Enterprise will also be giving out incentives. So I think they'll be giving out shirts. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what we've discussed. Indian tacos, you said? You said some, <laughs> not this time. No, not this time. Okay. Unless you're bringing them. No. Well, I might bring me one. <laughs> <laughs> Can you eat and donate blood at the same time? Well, it'd be a little hard, but, I mean, you can have a drink. We do have drinks and get a bag of pretzels. I don't know if I'd try Indian taco, though. That might, sounds like a challenge, Mark. We might need to set that up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for coming today. We appreciate you coming out again tomorrow. Donate blood over there in Wewoka from one fifteen to 5 p.m. Mark, it was good meeting you. Appreciate it. Nice to meet you. Yeah, have a good one. Thanks. All right. Thanks, Brooklyn. All right, and so again, that was the CHR department talking about their blood drives. Uh, make sure you get out there and get blood. I know everyone that goes into the hospital, you know, everyone always hears about having to give some blood sometime or another, uh, get some blood. So make sure you go out and help. Also, Brown Bag Fitness, the Seminole Nation Diabetes Program, uh, Mondays and Thursdays at the Jafigny Wellness Center, Tuesdays and Thursdays, or Tuesdays and Thursdays at the complex there in Wewoka, but it should be over at the Senior Citizens Building is where they have those at. And so all sessions are outside for the most part, 405-234-5247 to contact Jerome. And then also Tai Chi's Tuesday and Thursday at the New Life Church there in Wewoka, and that starts at 10 a.m. And then also Chair Aerobics is Monday and Wednesdays at the bridge um, at 10 a.m. And so any of those that you want to remain active, make sure you get in there and contact Jerome Harrison. Again, his phone number is 405-652-0878. And then there is a cooking demonstration Wednesday, December 14th at the bridge at the First Baptist Church of Seminole from 11 to 12. They just held their first one, um, I believe, a couple weeks ago. And so this is going to be their second cooking de- their second cooking demonstration. They will be having red beans and wild rice. And so join them. Again, that's going to be December 14th at the bridge from 11 to 2. And then we just talked about the blood donation, Delaney. Man, there's a lot of stuff going on, huh? Let's talk about, let's go ahead and get the princess uh, going on here. Uh, Delaney, why don't you go ahead and just stay there, and then we'll have Ayani come in, too. Ayani, go ahead and come on in. And so with us in the studio today, again, we appreciate OBI and CHR coming in. But we have your Miss Seminole Nation, Ayani TB, in the studio today. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, Ayani. How's it going? Pretty good. Good. Y'all have been busy. I, yes. I, I, everything I see on social media, every parade, seems like I always see a picture of you, Amira, or Olivia. Right. You guys are everywhere. And so you guys are doing some fundraising. Is that right? Yes. We're doing a fundraiser tonight. It's at the garage. Um a percentage of the sales will go to our activity funds. Um, it's from 6 to 8, and it's in Shawnee. All right, so it says, come meet and dine with your 2022-2023 Seminole Nation princesses at the garage in, Sa- in Shawnee. And like uh, Ayani said, a percentage of the sales will benefit the princesses activity fund. For more information, you can contact Jolie Singer at 405-503-6126. And so that's tonight. That's tonight. You Um, guys have something else going on, right? Yes. Uh, For tonight, there will also be a silent auction with Native American donations or creations that we have obtained. Um, A former junior miss, Jaylee Lowe, she donated a Patrick purse that she had made. Jay Lee, we know Jay Lee very well. Yes, so great. Going on. And then we friend. also have the annual Princess Seminole Nation Youth Basketball Tournament. And that is going to be December 29th through the 31st. There's a 125 entry fee, and the deadline to sign up is December 19th. And that has girls and boys, third through eighth grade. Um, it's not co ed. That'll be located at the bridge um, in Seminole at First Baptist Church on 420. 
West Reed Street in Seminole, Oklahoma. Um, yeah. The, who can they contact? The they can up? contact Bernita White Killer at 580-665-8002 or Wendell Williams at 405-584-1726. Good one, good one. Uh, so now that we've got that out of the way, this is your first time on the radio since you've done the be- you. Well, yeah, yeah but I mean, as since as you've won, yeah, yes, yes, as, as the Seminole Nation ambassador, yes, we should say, right? <laughs> right. So uh, tell us a little bit about your reign so far. Are you liking it? Yes, I'm really enjoying it. I'm enjoying meeting new people, learning new th- um, information along the way. Um, it's been really good to me. You know, it only seems like a couple of years ago you were sitting in that same seat mm-hmm. as a youth. Yes. You know, I think you did a couple of interviews and a couple of different broadcasts. And so if, you did, if you're if you a long-time listener to Seminole Nation of Oklahoma radio program, you probably remember Ayani um, doing some of the, the programming. Was it four or five years ago? About four, I think. Golly, I'm getting old. Getting old. I'm sorry, I just lost my train of thought after you said four or five years ago. It seems like it was just like two years ago. But it's good to see you back. Thank you. I appreciate it. Again, Seminole Nation princess. And then your two other princesses that you go around with, that is Amira Newsom Mm -hmm. and then Olivia Harjo. Yes. And so tell us a little bit about some of the events that you guys have been to. Kind of what's a day in the life of a Seminole Nation ambassador look like? So recently we attended the council meeting and introduced ourselves and that same day we actually had a fundraiser it was a stew sale um it was a pretty good turnout we also served the council um the parades are really fun and they're enjoyable we have fun getting to wave at people meet people um i think one of the last ones that I attended was at Chickasaw, the festival. We got to walk around, actually, me and my family, um, and look at all the art, the art sale that they had going on, the booths. It was really interesting. A lot of people like to come up and shake hands, introduce themselves. Um, there was actually a demonstration of a stomp dance, which was really cool to see. Yeah. Good deal. And so I've seen you guys at the uh, First Americans Museum, yes, yeah. uh, representing Seminole Nation. I think I've seen you. <laughs> I think, I'm not sure if it's you or Amira, at the uh, Choctaw uh, powwow, and then Amira. some of these parades. I even seen y'all at my hometown in Wetumpka. That, that was pretty cool. But, um, again, we want to do all the support we can for these young uh, ambassadors, as, as we call them, the uh, Seminole Nation princesses. And so tonight, if you're around the Shawnee area from 6 to 8, you are invited to come meet and dine. What kind of burger are you going to get? I like the turkey burger. The turkey burger. Yeah. You know, I kind of go for the bison burger when I go to the I garage because that's, that's pretty keen. But, um, again, from 6 to 8, come meet your princesses. And there will be a silent auction of Native creations and other donated items. And, again, that's going to be tonight at the garage. If you're not sure where the garage is, where is it? Shawnee. In Shawnee. On Shawnee ne- Road. Shawnee Mall Road. Shawnee Mall Shawnee. Road, yeah. yeah. Kind of right in front of the Walmart, <laughs> right off of just north of I-40. So that's where that's at. And then also the Seminole Annual Princesses Youth Basketball Tournament. And that's going to be, again, December 29th through the 31st. If you have, uh, you want more information, contact Bernita Whitekiller, 580 580- Six six five eight zero zero two, or Window Williams four zero five five eight four one seven two six. Ayana, you got anything else for us? Yes, I also wanted to mention um, Indian Child Welfare for Seminole Nation is having an event tonight um, to come meet the Grinch to take a picture um, and donate a gift if you can. If not, it's still nice to come by and just take some pictures with the Grinch. Um, we're also looking for foster homes with Indian Child Welfare, so keep that in mind. And yeah, good deal. You know, I called over to social services and ICW uh, a few minutes ago, and there's this. Uh, she says she was your friend, Joe Tiger. Yes. And she said, make sure you tell Ayani to do her best because we're trying to get as many toys as possible. Yes. And so she said, make sure that she's supporting. But I guess you did it. So. <laughs> Any other any other announcements? Mm. 
Because you guys are still taking donations as well for toys, right? Yes, we are. We're taking donations still. And she said, Joe said, make sure Ayani tells them it could be baby toys, baby clothes, wipes, anything for teenagers. And the phone number, if you have any questions, if you want to make a donation for ICW, um, 405-601-5147. And she said, ask for Joe Tiger. Yes. So, again, if you want to drop off some donations, that's 206 East 2nd Street, Darren Wewoka. So, make they're doing a good job over there. So, make sure you go, you go help them out. What about the sponsor turtle? Is that over now? Um, I'm, It's not over. We're still taking in gifts for the people that did come in, sponsor a, tur- a turtle. I think we still have a few left turtles to sponsor um if you can contact joe at that number as well and just be sure on that part she's in charge of that she's doing really good she's doing a good job with that good deal and so tonight is also meet the grinch at the wellness and then there's rumors of one being in shawnee as well maybe next week or so yes all right so uh once that flyer becomes available some of the nation media will share that around so anything else on my end. All right, Mado Ayani again. Thank that's your you. 2022 Seminole Nation Princess. So, Mado, thanks for coming out. And I believe that's about all of our time. We got two guests, but social service wise, uh, remember ETA, there's still emergency tribal assistance uh, for Seminole Nation Social Services Department. If you have any questions, 405 257 6257. Or 405-257-7200. Also, there's the revised ETA ARPA awards amount increased per household this time around. So one enrolled member from 150 to 300 or two or more enrolled members from 200 to 500. There are no income guidelines. And so the revised applications are available on the Seminole Nation website and at the social services tab on the website. And so make sure you guys get there. And then LIHEAP, the Low Income Home Energy Assistance Program, started last week on November 28th. And so for more information, contact the Seminole Nation Social Service Department again at those same numbers. Delaney, you got anything? Birthdays. Oh, okay. Uh, let's, let's get the birthdays. <laughs> All right. Let's start off with Benny Harjo, Kaylee Berry, Zach Bender, Amanda Sky, Ani Tiger, my good buddy Brandon White Eagle, Jennifer Lang, Jake Tiger, Jen Hiss, and Flo, Robert Litka, Jula Harjo, Marion Larney, Christina Harjo, and special shout out from Coda Williams, that's Mark's little boy, to his mom, Angela Larney. Inga, happy birthday. And then also, if you're looking for a job, Seminole Nation of Oklahoma is hiring. Uh, some of the following departments have opening ASAP, child care, domestic violence, Head Start, IT, JOM, maintenance, transit, transportation, tribal court, vehicle maintenance, wildlife, park and recreations. To fill out an application, please log on to the W or log on to the tribal website sno-nsn.gov and select the careers tab to fill out an application we also want to say a quick shout out basketball season is underway but some of the softball fast pitch all conference uh, members are being announced kk harjo congratulations chloe Gurley, congratulations natalie beaver mindy wildcat congratulations and then also a quick shout out to a 12 and under boys and girls tie down this is a national world championship competition being held in vegas uh day three blaze carter uh from seminole oklahoma in first place so congratulations blaze did we get everything Eagles. Let's see. Don't forget your your Cold Spring Church fundraiser is still going on. This is the last week uh, to get your tickets for that. If you have any questions, contact 580-665-0116. That's for the Pendleton uh, gift baskets. And then also the Native Hymn CD from Rock Springs is still for sale. You can contact Mike Jefferson or Newman Crows at 405-683-3575. Let's see. LRC is going on right now. Oh, we want to give that big shout-out, too, 
to Alina Rangel from Sasaqua, oh, yeah. who scored her thousandth career point against Inola a couple days ago. So congratulations What's there. Out in the LRC tournament this week. Yep. Man, I think that's everything, Delaney. Oh, I know. So you can catch the rebroadcast of this radio show on the Facebook page, YouTube, and Tribal website, which is www.sno-innocent.gov for the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma every Wednesday around 8 p.m. If you have news or announcements you want to share on the Community and Events Facebook page, please email the communications staff at seminolemedia at gmail.com or call 405 405- Six five two seven two five one, and as always, ladies and gentlemen, tune in every Tuesday right here at eleven a.m. on KWSH ninety seven point seven FM, or the legendary twelve sixty a.m. for radio producer Mark Williams, engineer Dennis Burton, assistant. Oh, Josiah Jimble. I'm Jeremy Fultz. I might as well just start listening to everyone in the tribe. Mado and Jihee Jolly's. <laughs>